Hey, it's once more here, me. Just to say hello to you, to say how are you, and to also to uh, say, Lord, bless him, bless her mightily. Give an answer to him, to her, all their prayers according to your will, according to your heart, my Lord. We bless them. And we thank you, Lord, for release this great happiness and joy, safety and security in the own life and the family. God bless you. Now, thank you for letting me for, 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 for having me here, for helping me today, and to allow me to uh, uh, share a little bit about this point that we had today about goodness. We're talking about the Holy Spirit fruit. And we're talking about the way it is on the Lord, from God. Because also if it, we, we, we can live in it in, in our human power way, which is not much productive. It does produce a little bit of happiness, really in a short period of time, in a very flash moment. But we want something sustainable. So goodness is our point today. We talk about peace. We talk about love, we talk about benignity, we talk about uh, 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 passions, but today we're talking about goodness. Now, goodness, goodness is the fruit of the Spirit that represents the kindness of one person towards other person. So, one to another. That is goodness. This is the fruit of the Spirit that represents that kind of this, this this love this 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 caring okay, position the person takes against someone else this is the common way of being kind but the, the uh, 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 goodness is the common way to be kind but the truth is that it goes beyond just feelings and even doing like the good samaritan so goodness is not just say i'm good Goodness is say nothing but do something that gives happiness to them, someone else. Do something that represents joy to someone else. And do it without interest. That, was, that is what the Good Samaritan in, 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 in the story of Luke uh, um, chapter 545, uh, 645 talks about. Uh, he, he, he who is good, he who is good, from the goodness that the treasures in their heart produce good. So anyone that's good, from what they have in their heart, he or her produce goodness. Always is a good thing that comes from that person. Now, goodness is kind of like identified with as someone that, 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 that we say that is altruist. Someone altruistic an altruistic person, it, it consists, uh, consists of, of being motivated to act consciously, to act consciously with, the, with, with, with personal desire. They, 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 they act consciously and voluntarily and self, selflessly. The person in, in a selfly, self, sorry, <laughs> A uh, selflessly way, without selfishness, with the aim of helping someone else, or generate well-being in others. So the person that is altruistic generates good, produces good for someone else with, without interest. They require nothing. They just do it because they just want to do it voluntarily. And just, it's, 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 it's a good, faithful act. And it don't want profit. It just wanted to do it. Um, they just want to help or generate this well-being in someone else. But it's not profit there, but they want it. Carrying out altruistic act, it is not only about donation, money donation, uh, monetary way, financially, or 
material goods, but also consists about sharing time and skills through voluntary work. So that is also a person that is altruistic, a person that goes and do voluntary work. Someone that don't require anything, that just want to do it because they want to help, want to help someone else. Um, that person always is showing kindness and selflessness. That is completely selfless. A person is not selfish. The person is just open to help. Is compassionate and merciful. I mean, this is a greater power revealed in practice with our enemies. When the person is, not, is altruistic, as he ha, he, he's full of goodness, they will also help the enemies. It's powerful. Powerful because not everyone, not everyone can help enemies. That's, that's something that only when forgiveness is in your heart. So that's why the Holy Spirit needs need to be there. Now, and among the smallest one, why the smallest one? It's easy. Well, it's easy, yes, but the person will know the person will know that they will have no return. Because that small one will never be able to pay back. They love the neighbor. The person loves the neighbors. They talk to them, they always be open, anyone uh, finds out what happened and how they can help. So, an altruistic person show goodness to everyone. They show kindness to everyone. So, goodness is one of the Holy Spirit fruit. So, that person is always there. Now, the story, of, the story that teaches kindness, where we just spoke about in the book of uh, 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 Luke, in the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 45, you can read that. Uh, and this is the story and the kind of the, the Lord Jesus talked about the Good Samaritan. Jesus told the parable of the Good Samaritan, the story of a man who was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho, and in a long way, everything he had was stolen. The person that was traveling, he was walking from one city to another, and, and at some point in the middle of the way, they were attacked by robbers. This delinquent attacked and beat him to death. And then they left him there. The person was dying. <clears throat> he said that one person passed by, no one didn't help. Another person passed by, didn't help. Both of them have titles. But then someone that had no title but had goodness, that no one can see, he just come and the good Samaritan, which is him, he passed by. And so the person who urgently needs help, he gave him medical attention and took him to an inn. He brought him to the hotel, to a B&B, and, and then said to him, to them, help them and everything that they spend, you spend on it, on that person, put in my account. The person was open was always ready to help. Totally open. Fully open. That is real. Kindness is defined as a natural inclination or tendency of the human being to do good. So humans, all of them, all of them can do good. But when it's humanly power, it will be short life. Always willing to help those who need in a kind in a generous, generous way. Simply put, goodness in the quality that a good person demonstrates, who is not evil or corrupt, and who is morally upright. So, humans has this blessed inside already. But when it's not powered by the Holy Spirit, it will become a sure goal. They will help one day, they will help an hour or two, they will help one time, and that was it. They will not go alone, because they will say, no, it's too much. Because it's the person himself is doing it. 
But when the job is, do, is done by the Holy Spirit to you, or you with the power of the Holy Spirit, it will last for days, weeks, months, even years. A person never gets tired of the good. Because, because it's by default an altruistic person who would like to do good all the time. Now, um, instead of being kind or compassionate to another person, to another, and forgive, uh, and forgive. So instead, be kind, compassionate to one another, and forgive each other. This will show and will generate in you a way of learning to be morally upright and compassionate with goodness. In the book of Romans, chapter 12, 21, it says this, Do not let yourself be overcome by evil. On the contrary, conquer evil with good. That's Romans 12, 21. So, try to practice goodness all the time. Then you will be beating the devil when he likes to do bad. Now, Ephesians 4.32 says this. Just as God in Christ forgives you, forget anyone else. And then, instead of do evil, just do good. Be kind, compassionate. Do goodness. And now is the time to do good. Always been a time to do good. But you might have not practiced that continuously. You might not have been uh, 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 taking this uh, uh, way of behaving by, by default. You might not be always practicing by time. It's time to do good. Christ will help you to do good. Christ, yes. So you can, if you don't know Christ Jesus, you can tell. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive my sins. I make my Lord and Savior. I make you my Lord and Savior. Lord, forgive me my sins and allow my name to be written in the book of life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your kindness. You know Christ? Oh, if you know Christ, then just continue to learn and practice goodness. If you don't know Christ, you just do the prayer while I just said to you and tell him your story. And now, start to do goodness. And the previous video, just send a message also there with a link for you to click on it and to start to do goodness. Give a donation for a person that needs. Then you will be having this labor, this, this, this job done on the practice. Time to do good. Now, let's see how it goes and practice. We continue next time with another point of the Holy, of the Holy Spirit fruit. But today was goodness. God bless you. The Lord keep you. And I'll see you next.